just because we don't have Adobe Photoshop, it doesn't mean we can be creative with our Canva. Let's jump in and create this shapes logo using Canva. From your home page, you're going to search for logo and you're going to create a blank canvas. Then you're going to go to your elements and then you're going to go to shapes and lines and then you're going to create a square you click on square or you press r to get a rectangle you then size your square i'm going to make this a little bit big so we can see you size your square nicely and you move it to the side then you go back to your lines and shapes and you scroll down to find this d that's pointing down it's arch down the shape you click on it once and then you move it so that it aligns with your rectangle or your square. So that they are completely aligned like that. So I'm going to undo so that I can change the color of my square and make it the same color as my arch down so let's scroll down and go find a nice green and then you move it so that it's aligned like that and so that they are completely totally aligned at the bottom of the page and you don't see any lap over and then it looks like that you're gonna click and highlight the two and you're going to group it once it's grouped you're gonna duplicate the shape so that you have a second shape that you put it on the side which we're gonna use for our R next you're going to go to your arch down again and you add it you rotate it and then you move it to the shape that you've created already there and now we're creating our key and we move it ever so gently that there are no cropping over that are popping out and once it's done like that you're going to duplicate the shape with either ctrl c ctrl v and then or you go and use that button that says duplicate when you change color you make it white and then you put it over the other piece so that you have a nice beautiful key on your design and once you are happy with your shapes you press L for a line and you change your line and you make it white then you move it to your P what we're looking for we're creating a gap between the P so that the P has a beautiful design like that and then you're going to use that extra shape that we've created earlier on and we're going to make it a little bit smaller so that we can create our R and we align it next to our P like that then we scroll down and we're looking for the teardrop shape so you're going to scroll down and you're going to click once on the teardrop shape you size that you rotate it so that it creates a leaf kind of a shape and you add it on your R. And we're going to add a element to have this uh, leaf kind of a shape over there. So you're going to go to your elements and you're going to search for leaf strand and then you scroll down and you find your leaf strand if you're looking for a free version of a leaf strand you're gonna click on those nodes and you tick on free and then canva will show you just the free version and not the pro version but i found this one and you click on it once and you rotate it and you change the color of it and make it white and then you move it over to your shape and you flip it so that it creates that nice strandy kind of a leaf. 
So with that shape of yours, the teardrop shape, we're going to duplicate that. And we're going to change the color of that one and make it white. And we're going to put it behind this shape so that it creates that we're going to make it a little bit bigger so that when we put the O, it creates that gap between the two letters. So once you have it like that, you're going to go to position and send it to back. And then it's completely back. Last thing, you're going to create your O. You press C for circle. And then you have your O. You reduce the size. Size it quite nicely and you align it to your letters like that. And you send that to back. And there's that gap I was talking about created by that teardrop of ours. Then we're just going to duplicate this. We change color, make it white. I actually would like to change this color and make it a bright yellow. And then you add your text with a T and you add your line as well. And you're pretty much done on Canva. And now you've done. So I've discovered if you download this without taking a background and you are using a free account, you can download it as normal, as a normal PNG. You go to remove.bg. What I've discovered is remove.bg takes it away immediately. You don't have to upload it again like we did on previous videos on Canva. So all you do, you just drag it to remove.bg and then it takes off everything no uploading re-uploading and all of that then you just download it once it's downloaded you go to your photo p and then you convert it to a 3d quick interruption before we jump in on photo p for all my research learners who struggle with following video i've created a learner guide for you as a form of an ebook so that you can follow the steps step by steps with pictures on there and instructions you can purchase this for yourself if you follow the link on the description below but now let's get back to the video so we're going to use a template that's already on photo p you click on psd templates then we're going to use this one you click on the template itself you click on photop.com once it has loaded, you go to where it says your logo. On the checkered box, you double click on there and it will show you the designer's guide. You click on the eye to hide the text. Then you click and you drag your logo that you've just removed from BG. You size it. You go file, save as smart object. And you click where it says 3D glass window logo once and it will convert and that's your quick and easy logo using canva creating all shapes i hope you enjoyed this tutorial i've created a mega course when it comes to canva it is on learnwithzart.com the link is on the channel above go and register and learn more about canva i will see you on the next video